Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope you all had a great weekend. Unfortunately, Monday comes way too soon. Back to work tomorrow. I did, finally, after three weeks, went back to Holy Trinity to volunteer and uh, I was in the Christmas room this weekend. Yes, so I. this is a mostly... Christmas in March haul. Um, I got a few things that were non-Christmas, but not many. So let's get into this haul. I will start with a couple of things that are non-Christmas related. Found this beautiful carnival glass compote bowl, or I don't know, it's really not big enough to be a fruit bowl. It's kind of large to be a compote bowl, so my guess is that it's a candy dish. It may or may not have come with a lid, but it's beautiful, and it has like the thumbprint um, pattern. Very, very pretty. Um, oh, sorry guys, keep kicking the tripod. Now, uh, if you remember in my last video where I announced uh, that I was having a giveaway and that I was going to give away the ceramic Christmas tree that I thrifted, that particular tree did not come with a stand. However, I found a stand when I was at the church and it will definitely work with this Christmas tree, but I will have to paint it first. It's painted silver, as you can see. Uh, reminds me of <laughs> like an asteroid or something. But what I will do is I will repaint this um, as close of a green to the tree as I can. That way it'll be good to go. I did put the tree on top and it, and it will work. As long as, you know, you're not moving it around and stuff like that or on a table that's shaky, I think it'll be okay. So I was very happy to find this. Now you can light up the tree, yes. Whoever the lucky winner is will be able to light up the tree. Now, I said I was going to do the non-Christmas items first. I guess it was just that bowl. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, <laughs> anywho, let's get back on to this haul. I found this beautiful bell. It looks like it would be a Lennox piece. Look how pretty that is. And it has the glittery... You could see it now, snow on there and the gold. And it doesn't have any markings on it. So I'm really not sure who made it, but this will go with my other items um, that I put out for Christmas that are Lennox. It'll look gorgeous with them. It'll look like it's all one big set. Uh, let's see, I guess I'll just set it over here. I got this really cute, handmade uh, Santa bag. I'm probably gonna take this faux fur off, probably, and use the snow text that I told you guys about across the top here and see how that comes out. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this handle on either. What I'll probably do is take the handle out and put candy canes inside of here. But I love his face. They did a great job painting him. All right. Uh, let's see. Found this one candle holder from 1987 and it sort of matches the Christmas trees and the wreath, uh, light up wreath that I uh, thrifted and it's got the bows on top. So what I'll probably do is just set it next to the tree with a candle in it or to next to the wreath. 
either or will work. I found this really cute little snowman. And as I was looking at him, I'm like, is that milk glass? And I kept looking at it and looking at it. It's not milk glass, but it could almost pass for milk glass. And you put a candle under here, or not a candle, a light, light bulb. And then in here, you would put the wax melts, I believe. And you put the lid on at the top of his hat and it comes out through the holes on the top. And I just thought he was so cute. Oh, and it comes out of the holes around on his scarf as well. So I thought he was adorable. I picked up this vintage Merry Christmas sign, which I love. I have um, another one that is plastic and it's uh, the Merry Christmas is in red. I got it across the street um, when my neighbor um, moved away. They had an estate sale and that's where I got that one. And this one will go beautiful with it. I also picked up this really, really cute Santa. It's the quilted kind that goes along with the little uh, ornaments for the tree. I think he's so cute. I had to grab him. So I told you that we have two Christmas rooms um, at the church. I finished pretty much the one room and I moved across the hall to the other room. And so now I'm finding all this other cool stuff. So grab this pine garland um, just to, for crafting. It's how many, 18 feet. Found these beautiful Christmas candles with the holly and the berries. Very, very pretty. Found these vintage coasters. I really like these. I think these are so cool. I probably won't use them for coasters, but I'll put them out along with my other Christmas decor. I found another uh, angel chime. I love these. I'm so happy that I found another one. And I have a bunch of candles for them too that I thrifted. So I was very happy to find another one of these. Um, they had all kinds of deck, um, decks, decks of cards. Yeah, okay boxes of Christmas cards, decks of cards. I don't know where the heck that came from. And I grabbed this box because I absolutely love the picture on here. Look at how pretty that is. That would make a gorgeous picture. Get some matting to put around it. Oh, I may do that. I just may do that, but I loved it. So pretty. So I grabbed those and I grabbed this set of lights, brand new in the box. I haven't plugged them in and tried them out yet. They're really cool looking. The shapes of the bulbs are very unique. So I can't wait to plug those in and see how they look. Found this, now this is Avon. And it's All That Glitters Sequin Pin Poinsettia. So let me show you guys. This is really, really cool. At first when I opened it, I thought it was a patch. It's not going to focus. But it's actually a pin. And I don't know. I don't see a year... Oh yes, I do, I lied. 
$19.88. And I just thought that was gorgeous. Very unique, I think, for a pin. Okay. Then I picked this up. I have to I have to glue or maybe open the bottom to fix this one piece. Uh, this silver, I'm assuming it is a Christmas card holder. And I fell in love with it. Let me see if I could twist it. It'll tighten. No. I have to do it from underneath. And I, that means I would have to take off this felt on the bottom to get at it to tighten it up. But I just thought it was really pretty. All righty. Now, I found this, um, this Santa Claus, and I got him because of his face. He's very vintage. Now, what they were trying to do with this Santa, I'm not quite sure. Let me show you, and you could tell me what you think they were trying to make out of this, because... My only thought was a pin cushion. So, here he is. <laughs> I, they made arms. And I have no idea. Oh, look. How are you doing? <laughs> I have no idea what the heck that is supposed to be, but... If you guys know, leave it in the comment section, please. I just really liked his face. He's he's very cool. Love him. Binks, you want to say hi to everybody? Oh, my God, he's getting so fat. Binksy, say hi. Binks, look. No? Okay. <laughs> Get down. He is getting very large. Okay. No, you can't come up because I'm trying to film. Like he knows what I'm saying. But anyway, um, I got this beautiful picture. This beautiful poinsettia or poinsettia needlepoint. Absolutely gorgeous. My grandmother used to do needlepoint like there was no tomorrow. Um, I actually have one of her needlepoints. Um, I should, I'll pause the camera and grab it so I can show you guys. But this is just beautiful. And they just kind of stuck it in the frame and taped it in there. They must have uh, stretched it over this piece of cardboard. But it did get some, like, dirt and stuff inside here, if you can see. But I really don't want to take it apart to, to clean that out. I'm hoping it'll just eventually fall to the bottom. But anyway, yeah, I, I had to grab that. I think that's gorgeous. Let me pause this and show you one of my grandmother's needlepoints. It's beautiful. Okay, this is my grandmother's needlepoint work. It's absolutely gorgeous. And she, this was one of her hobbies. She, uh, I used to have cushions for the dining room chairs that were, the background was black and then it was all florals. And she had them on her dining room chairs. And when, after she passed away, I took all the cushions but after so many years, they the in, insides um, kind of like disintegrated, and I had to I had to throw them out, unfortunately. But she did did some beautiful needlepoint work. Then she started to do the same type of look, but with teeny teeny tiny seed beads. Those pictures were out of this world. So, yes, and she would get them professionally framed. So, this picture hangs in my front my front hallway. 
I love it. It's beautiful. All right. Now, the rest of the stuff that I got was ornaments. Lots and lots and lots of ornaments. So let me just try to, to go through um, these beautiful bulbs. Um, got this one. And it has kind of like a striped look to it. Very pretty. I have the top for it. It's in here somewhere. Then there was this one, which I love. It's very cool. It has like blue on the inside. Then there's this one. And this one. This one. This Santa Claus. This one. These are so so thin. They're like eggshells. Thinner than eggshells. This one, the bottom is broken, unfortunately, but it has that really pretty leaf pattern there. Almost looks like an olive branch. Then there's this one. I've had a few of these. This one, this is very cool. Has its own little hook, blown glass. And this one, I really like this one. I love the turquoise. This one is really, really cool. I love this one. I think this one's my favorite. Look at that. Very unique. Um, another one of these. This one. Looks like a lantern. One like this, pretty blue flowers on there. This big red one, very, very pretty. Couple of these, I like this one too. It's got the different colors. I love this blue. It's almost like a cobalt color, very pretty. And let's see, oh, and then one of these. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I keep kicking the tripod. It's got a squiggly, like, ribbon inside of it. Curly cued. So those were the bulbs. Let me fix this. And then I got this huge office box here. And I'm just going to run through. Let me show you because, oh, my God. Let me kick this one more time. I found these three adorable handmade ceramic reindeer ornaments. There's those two. <laughs> and this one. They are adorable. I love them. Look how cute they are. <laughs> I love them. Look at their little faces. Oh my word. Adorable. Um, then I found this pretty bell. 
made with the beads and the sequins. Very cool. This is not a, uh, an ornament. It's just a wooden decoration, which I love. This is very, very cool. Check this out. Wow, that is like awesome. It was made in Taiwan. It's just very, very cool. I just found this cute little decoration, this little wooden snowman. He's adorable. And he's two-sided. This bell. <laughs> Doesn't sound very much like a bell, but I like the rustic feel. And what I might do is hang something from here. Um, I may string some beads or something to hang from the bottom. Not sure yet, but I have plenty of time to think about it. Got this really cute plastic canvas uh, mailbox. Santa boot. Love the sparkles. Here's one of those uh, deck, uh, ornaments I was telling you about, about that matches um, the Santa back there that I showed you. I don't know. I can't talk today. It's Sunday. I've had a very busy weekend and I am exhausted. I just came home actually from my nephew's fifth birthday party. His actual birthday is the 15th, but they had his party today, so he was having a ball. Um, I then picked up these for resale, these ornaments here. I figured um, they would be collectible. Looney Tunes. We have Bugs Bunny, Wiley Coyote, and the Roadrunner. <laughs> I like this one. This one's cool. Then we have Tweety Bird and Sylvester. Looney Tunes were the best cartoons ever. And then here I have Tom and Jerry. <laughs> He's bouncing away and there's Jerry. <laughs> that is very cute. Then I found this really cute Grinch, or not Grinch, Dr. Seuss. That's very cute. And this very pretty old angel. Um, I found another bottle brush Christmas, Christmas tree. Christmas tree. And I found this very cool candle. It's made out of like cloth that's been like stiffened. It's really neat. I don't know exactly how it was made, but I love it. It's very rustic looking. Found these, they're wax, little houses. This really cool Santa icicle with the snowflakes. This vintage bird, clip on. Then I found a bunch of, this is not, this is very pretty. I found a bunch of wooden ornaments and I love the wood ornaments. And so does my friend Joanne over at A Work in Progress. I have a lot and I know she's been looking for them for her little tree. So I may have to send some her way because I did find a lot. 
Look at this guy. A snowman on a mushroom? That's like, you know, kind of strange to me. Kind of psychedelic, if you know what I mean. 60s, acid. Yeah, I don't know. But I just, I like the mushroom. It was really cool. Got this little Santa. The tin soldier on the rocking horse. Not a tin soldier, the wooden soldier. Oh, Lord. This is my favorite. Look at this wooden airplane. How cool is that? That's awesome. This guy is really cool, too. Then I got the Santa. And I don't know. I think there might be pieces missing to this. I'm not quite sure because he's got a hole going through him. So I don't know. Another little Santa. Then I got these two really cute reindeer. These are adorable, Rudolph. And this is very, very vintage. She's, um, I'm sorry guys. She's made out of a very hard, thick plastic. Not going to focus. Then I found these two. I got I have to put this back on his head. It's it had yarn on here. Whoops. The spun. Spun silk. Spun head. Oh, Karina. Miss Help Stone me out, Home. Karina. <laughs> I cannot remember the name of it. And then there's the baby Jesus. That's very cool. So, oh my goodness. Lots and lots and lots of ornaments. So, let me tell you what I spent for all of these awesome items. I spent $18. Yep, that's it. And I could not be happier. I so enjoy going and helping out at this uh, thrift shop. It's There's so many beautiful things to be put out, but everything has to be organized and reorganized and... Uh, boxes need to be emptied out, put out, and then get rid of the boxes. And it's just, um, it's a work in progress. So um, I will continue to go and help out um, as long as I can, uh, because I, I truly, truly do enjoy it. So guys, on that note, that's going to end this thrift pop. Th 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 Thrift Hall from Holy Historic Holy Trinity. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.